what's the most exciting thing about winning? It's when you win. I love that feeling. Hello everybody, welcome back to my beauty entertainment channel. My name is Amanda, if this is your first time here. Hello, welcome back. It hasn't been that long, but it's been a little while. But I had to come back for this, of course. I had to make time in my schedule to come back for this. So anyways, how you guys been? How's it going, etc, etc. I think my last video was on The Sims, if you want to watch that. And the one before that was on Mistreatment of Teenage Girls Again, part two, three. I don't know how many times I talk about that on my channel. But today I'm doing my brows. I actually have somewhere to go, so I actually have to do my makeup um, in this because I only have like an hour and a half, which is more than enough time, but I overplan things. Everyone knows what we're here for. I don't know what, if you thought like I was not going to, you know, I'm a little bit delayed. I think Amanda, a couple of years ago, this video would have come much quicker, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, I'm in school and that takes away from my Beyonce time. It's really unfortunate, but I had to make time in my schedule for this. So today we are here, of course, to discuss Beyonce's new album, Cowboy Carter. Let's pause for applause. Pause for applause. Absolutely. And so I'm going to talk about the album. I'm going to attempt to rank it at the end. I'm going to, I say attempt. Please keep in mind what I really do mean attempt because I already attempted to rank it like 10 minutes ago using that like sorter thing and there were like eight songs tied for number four. So I'm going to try it again on here and see if it actually goes a lot smoother. So you know you think she can't possibly do better. You just sit there and you think and you're like there is literally no way there is no way that Beyonce could do better. There is absolutely, it's not feasible, it's not possible that Beyonce could take what she already did and somehow make it better. And then she basically called me a low down dumb bitch because she's like, why would you ever think that I couldn't one up myself? Why would you ever think so low of me that I wouldn't be able to conquer myself? This is an actual thing that I need to apply to my everyday life, which is why I say, I think Beyonce, so she's everything. She's everything. She's also a motivational speaker because this, this album, this album is for us to understand there is no peak. We, Beyonce has no peak. We in our lives also have no peak. We will continue to keep getting. That's the lesson to be learned. That is the lesson to be learned from Act Two, Cowboy Carter. Mm -hmm. That's a lesson I've been learning from Beyonce over the past five years. Homecoming came out five, six years ago now. That changed my entire life. Using it, I went complete tangent. I went to Sephora yesterday because the sale started a couple days ago and bought a bunch of things. So this is one thing that I rock and I'm ready to try. Um, do not shake. Okay, just tap bottom. Okay. Okay, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Homecoming changed my life and then the gift and then Renaissance. And then it's just, it's just, it's, it's a never ending. It's absolutely, so how do I use this then? Just tap bottom, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Hello, hello. Thanks, okay. Beyonce's had me in a chokehold for a very, very long time. And now she's decided to actually make the chokehold even worse. Like Beyonce, I have like a life that I like allegedly need to finish this degree. And it's seeming that you don't wanna make that possible because how am I supposed to study if this is my other alternative to listening to? When my media choices are between Sketchy and Cowboy Carter, which one do you think that I'm going to lean towards? And I need to actually find you for this. Like I, need, I haven't even started talking about the actual album yet and I need to lie down. The chokehold that she has me in is something that is truly only challenged by Renaissance. Why am I hearing these songs in the beeps of the x-ray machines? Why am I hearing that? Why am I hearing these songs in cars, exhaust pipes? Why am I hearing these songs in IV machines beeping? That's not safe. That's not safe. And I just want to let everyone else out there know who may be experiencing a very similar thing of hearing the song everywhere. You are not crazy. She's in fact, she's in, I don't want to, I don't, let me not give 
the that those those she sold her soul people any 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 um any credit but she really she really tapped in here she really 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 tapped in here and i am so grateful and for this album one thing that i did see a tweet about that i wanted to hear myself i with renaissance i think for me listening i have so many new things to try i need to remember to actually use them another thing that i picked up i have a color corrector i just wanted to try a new one I listen in sections. I don't always listen to this album like in order. I personally go in little like sections and then, but the thing is once you start listening and the thing, it's really unfortunate. It's not unfortunate, it's great for me because once you start, cause I'm like, I start listening in sections and I do, I listen in sections. But once you start a section, you're like, well, I mean, the next really good song is coming up in two songs anyway. And then now we're at Amen again. Now we're at Amen again, and now I'm back right where I started. And in fact, we've made no progress. We've in fact just played Cowboy Carter again. So I do say that I listen to it in sections. I can, like if I have somewhere to go, like if I know, okay, this car ride is like 15 minutes, I can get like this section in. That's how I listen to it. Okay, so this is the Huda Beauty color corrector. It's a color corrector, so I, I don't have anything to say. I just have been using the lip tinted one forever. And so I wanted to try something different. And there was a sale. That's not a good reason to buy something, but it's my reason to buy something. I put it, because it's a liquid, it went a lot further than my color factor normally goes, but it's fine. All right, so now we can actually talk about the album. And I'm gonna be using, I'm trying it again. I'm not, I don't like taking too many risks and I have to go somewhere today. So I'm not gonna use this under my eyes. I'm gonna just use it like, um, I'm gonna just use it to set my primers and stuff. It's the mini one. I'm gonna try to use this packaging. Let's try to use it. Come on. Oh, that fragrance, yum. She's getting rid of that, right? Yeah. First song. So, American Requiem did more for me than 12 years in Catholic school. 12. I think it's actually longer than that because I started at a Catholic school in Long Island where I was born. Um, so probably 14 years of Catholic school. The song makes me want to dive off a diving board, not in like a death way or anything, but it's just the the the... I haven't been in a pool in a long time, but American Requiem just feels like diving into a pool. Like, mm, like a baptism, <laughs> like a baptism, but like not a baptism. Because I guess in a baptism, you kind of like shook it to must bring you back up. Not in like a death way, but in like, I just want to dive in and swim and I haven't swam in a long time. Those are my cats. They're fine. They're just gonna keep on making noise. There's a lot of chatter in here. There's always chatter about the head bitch in charge. That's why, let me tell you something. After the way, after the way, you guys, first of all, isn't it really interesting how Beyonce haters have first access to leaks that the rest of us don't even have? That's so interesting to me. But ever since y'all did what you did with Renaissance, when you guys were listening to the leaks and being like this, I, I wasn't, I already was not gonna listen to you guys. Like truthfully, that wasn't gonna happen. But especially after that, I'm not listening to a damn word you say because you guys have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Musically, musically, no, no, absolutely no idea what you're talking about. And so I'm not going to listen to that. Ooh, I'm not going to listen to that and I'm not going to listen to you. This is one of my favorite album openers from her, period. Maybe my one of my favorite album openers of an artist, period, but from her, absolutely one of my favorites. I don't even, I'm, tr and that's tough competition, but right now, I'm not thinking of an album opener from her that I like better. I'm not. I'm not. And that's a really, a really, really, really confident thing to say. And I, in fact, I am saying it. It's that good. It's that good. And this entire album, but even with this song, like not especially with this song, but with a lot of the songs in the album, I think this album, oh, is that wet? Oh, the one that's not. I just wash these brushes. Yes, I wash my makeup brushes. Everyone clap. Um, the line between gospel and R&B, not R&B, gospel and country, 
There's also a line between gospel and R&B, in my humble opinion. But I think on this album, she really brought in like those gospel influences, those church influences. Like I said, did more for me than 12 years at a Catholic school. This individual song. The lighting is going in and out. Um, I don't, I refuse to deal with the studio lighting setup. So we're going to deal with this as it is. We're going to use the light, the natural light that was given to me. Can you see me? If you can see me, that's all that matters. So this is one of my favorite album openers from her period. One of my favorite songs from her period. I just, because I start the song and it's a long song. I start the song and I'm like, all right, like I have something to do. Like we're just going to play the song. And then before I know it, I'm on like Jolene. And it just, it, it like this song is, I'm like, I'm just going to listen to the song. I'm just going to listen to American Requiem. That's all I'm going to do. And then I'm going to go about my day and finish my work or whatever. No. The answer is no. She said, no, like you're actually not allowed to. You need to listen to the entire song and you in fact need to listen to the three songs that come after. She's sick and that's one of my favorite. That is, a, do you know how, do you know how, how, how incredible you have to be for your, how many, she's like 20 something years into her career and your newest album I'm saying has the best, my favorite album opener from you, from you. And you're like 25, 27 years deep into your career. What am I, how am I supposed to react to that? How am I supposed to react to that? Shake well. Now I'm reading instructions. Okay. I'm trying. I bought, this is a whole, I'm making a big risk actually doing this before I actually have to leave my house. But we're going to hope that like technique and stuff can save any, any misfortunes that happen. This is the new Urban Decay Face Bond Foundation. Um, this woman, Kenya, that I follow on TikTok was like raving about it. And I was like, all right, girl, I'll try it. Sale is here. I'll try it. All right. And I'm putting on with the beauty blender because I always do that with foundations. I don't think I've used a brush to put on foundation. I'm going over here because there's better light over here. And this color match I made in Sephora and I don't always trust their lighting. So I'm hoping that it's okay. It's good. It's good. Okay. Anyways, Blackbird, where are my Gleeks at? Ah! Where those that, that that's the only I only know this song from Kurt Hamill. I'm sorry. I don't know how many men are in the Beatles. Either five or six. Sorry to those men. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know who you are. Okay. The song was an eat. There was eats all around, eats from Beyonce, eats from Tanner, eats from eats from Britney, eats eats from here. Everyone, rain, everyone ate. And I also think it's really funny that Miss Buckle Bunny got the absolute last laugh on you guys. Do you remember like who said that? Be careful who you laugh at point at because the joke will eventually be on you. Because they Twitter, but you know, Twitter will clown anybody who has an ambition for themselves. Um Y'all were trying to tell her about herself and the whole time, the whole time she was on Beyonce's new album. How unfortunate is that? Like how unfortunate is that for you guys? And the song is very good. And you guys know me and slow song. I don't, I don't dislike slow songs just because they're slow. It just takes me a little bit more to like get into them. I haven't skipped Blackbird in a listening of this album actually in my many, many, many re-listens since it going on. I have not skipped Blackbird. Okay. I didn't put a lot of the foundation on. There's not a lot of my, there's not a lot on my face right now. I'm gonna put a tiny bit more on. It's like a medium cover, but I don't want to put too much on. That's the thing. And I'm also putting it on with a beauty blender, so that's absolutely giving it like taking away some of its strength. But I really enjoy Blackbird. Now to 16 carriages. It's not that I didn't get 16 carriages the first time. I got it and I understood the purpose. I was just like, personally, I'm not sad enough to listen. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sad enough to listen. I still am not sad enough to listen. And I'm like, I'm not down in the dumps enough to listen. Then I started a rotation that started my start time was 6 a.m. Then, you know, I started to understand 16 carriages. Driving to a hospital in the middle of the night you'll understand 16 characters. You'll understand, you'll understand why she's singing that way. Who You'll under, you know, I understand a lot more things now. It's still, truth be told, not my favorite song. 
It is not my favorite song on this album. She does get the skip. She does. If it, 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 it She does get the skip from me. Beautiful song. Very well written. Beautiful. She sounds amazing. Unfortunately, sometimes I'm just, I didn't carve out my brows. What a useless, e oh my God. I would never, I should not call myself useless, but my God. I'm like, why do my, why do my brows look weird? They're not, they're not, they're not lying. But um, yeah, I don't really get 16 carriages personally. I mean, I get it and I understand and it sounds really nice. I just, it's not for me every time. And now I'm like not going into the hospital at 6 a.m. anymore, but it's a beautiful song. Let me stop. It's a beautiful song. It's a beautiful song. It's just, I'm not always in the mood for her. And I know I'm going to be crucified for that, but that's my truth. And I'm allowed to speak as such. Okay. Next song is Protector. I want to hear the lullaby too. I want to hear the lullaby too. And she in fact gave that, this song really is a lullaby. Truth be told, I'm going to say again, I do not listen to this song all that often. And my re listen it's a beautiful song. I'm just like, I'm not feeling her at this moment. I'm not feeling her at this moment. And that's okay. See, better. Better. This foundation is interesting. It's interesting. Because it's on. It's definitely on. It's interesting. The foundation is interesting. That's what I'm going to say. But that's 16 Characters and Protector. Not my favorite songs in the album. They're very, very pretty, but not for me personally. My Rose. Where are the girls on point? Where are the ballerina? Where It's been two weeks. Where are y'all? This is come get your please. I'm begging because I physically cannot do it. I'm begging you, please. Wait, wait, it's right there. The whole song, the whole song is right there for you. But the la 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 love that that part, it's it's like a gift. It's like, and I I please, I want to see it. Please, 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 please. I don't know where y'all are. I don't know what you're doing. Please, some glissades to that part right there, please. I need it. I, th there's this itch I need to scratch and I physically I don't never been on point a day in my damn life but I need to hear the clicks of the shoes with this song I'm desperate I'm desperate and I know I know there are many people on point and beehive mm -hmm. please it's gonna it's gonna sound so good it's gonna be so pretty and I'm already hearing it and I'd like my wish to be fulfilled if possible because the song is so beautiful this song, this song, my rose, that song never gets skipped from me. And now they're gonna be in my comments like, you skip this and don't skip it. Uh, and that's the way it is. That's in fact with the song that I skip, my rose is not one of them. All right, now we're gonna put on concealer. I've just been yapping, yapping, yapping. I'm wondering if I could try the new concealer that I got or just go with the tried and true because I'm already putting so many new things on my face right now. Like I'm putting a lot of new things on my face right now, but I mean, might as well, <laughs> like I'll mix them. I don't even know if that's gonna be a good idea. Let's mix the Pat McGrath because I know this one is good. All right, so I love my rose. I love my rose. Next, some of the interlude, Smokehouse, you know, radio. And I saw that tweet, somebody tweeted before, like, oh, I think um, it's gonna be like a radio show. I was like, that's pretty cool. I don't know if that's true, but that's really cool if that is true. In fact, was true, period. Y'all got your ear to the streets. You guys do. So that was cool. Next, Texas Hold'em still holds up. You guys, still holds up. Still sounds as fresh to me as it did the day that it came out. Um, I don't, of course, I am going to do my little line dance that they taught us in elementary school in Oklahoma. I am going to do that every single time. This song comes on. You do not have to worry about me whatsoever. The song is good. The song is good. And to me, it still sounds fresh. It sounds like it did when it first came out. And that's all I can really ask for. That's all I can really ask for, because this ain't Texas. Next, 
Oof. Listening to this album for the first time was a fucking trip. So I was at that part and I was like, my rose really like swept me off my feet. And I was like, you know, Tekla's hold on, you know, I know her, I love her, you know. No, I did not know. No, I did not know the song that was waiting for me on the other side of Texas Hold'em, We Have Bodyguard. So at this time, when I was listening to the album for the first time, I was in fact still recovering from American Requiem. Like my rose sent my heart rate back up to like a little bit, but I was still like whole body experience, still recovering from American Requiem. And then this song started and I in fact had to completely let that go because I had to give my full undivided attention to Bodyguard. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how this song came about, but I'm, I really need to know because I need to apply whatever, whatever was applied to get this song to sound the way it did. I need whatever that is, whatever that is. Where this song, of course, is summer. Where are my mimosas? Where is my jungle juice? Because it was good. Yeah, it's very dangerous, but jungle juice tastes good. Where is the sun? Because it was just hailing, raining, storming. It's sunny now. It's sunny now. Past fucking three days, it's been absolute torture. Like, I need the warm. I need to go out to LA. That actually will solve this issue. I need the weather. I need the nice weather. Where's brunch? It's just too damn cold. It's just too damn cold for a brunch like why was it was literally like 35 degrees a couple days ago that's ridiculous and there was an earthquake yesterday or two days ago I just for her to create she has so many songs where like it's you just can't like stay still like it's just not you just can't do it this song you can do you all don't want to move your hips when you listen like of course you can white girl dance to another thing but I also think you can really buck to this song too. I think almost any song on this album, I think you could buck 16 characters if you really put your mind to it. If you really put your mind to it, I think you could. And I think that was the point. Sometimes you just want to let loose even when the song is a little bit slower. Like, mm-mm, mm-mm. She's sick because she's a very ruthless person because she wouldn't stop. Bodyguard, Bodyguard came. And even in the middle of the song, I'm like, is she gonna, is, is it ever gonna let no? No, I don't know why I, Boo Boo the Fool, would ever think that Beyonce's greatness would, 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 no, no, no. That's not how that works. When the guitar comes in, when the guitar comes in on any Beyonce song, I already know. I already knew minute, not minutes, because the song's only like a couple of minutes, what she was on. And I am eternally grateful for you, Beyonce. I don't think you understand. Then we have Dolly P, Miss Godmother Dolly, you know, that hussy. I love the way she says hussy with the good hair. Mm -hmm. She's a hussy. (laughs) Hussy. So Jolene, what am I supposed to say? You know, lyric change, smear change, like Beyonce wants to kill Jolene. That's the story that Beyonce is telling, the character that she's encompassing. She is pissed. Whoever she is, she is pissed piss and she's allowed to, y'all are not gonna be serious because i'm sorry you guys listen to anything and you listen to people saying absolutely anything about themselves and other people it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay like mm-mm. not twitter not self-deprecating not foul shit twitter no that's not that's not that's not who's that's not who's running their mouth there's no way it's a movie it's fiction she told us it's fiction you're an adult you should know that but back to the actual song, when that choir comes in, when they start doing the call and respect, no, no. Cause what am I supposed to do? Because I'm like, Jolene is a cover. And I'm like, I do listen to the original. I listen to Jolly Partners, Jolene. Not all the time, but pretty often. That is what you can do for a cover. Beyonce is showing the girls how to be artists again, truthfully. First of all, the length of this album, she's showing, you know, it doesn't have to be. We can. I love a good short album because I remember I do love a, I love a short album. I'm like, get to the point if you want to. But Beyonce said no. In fact, when you do have a point to be made that you need more time for, go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. This could see their blending out beautifully that was the say their new concealer the say i don't know what it's called slip tin concealer 
it has medium coverage. That's why I got it. I don't do the like super light coverage. I feel like that's not really my thing. But this said it had medium coverage and it in fact does. Period. Mm -hmm. Period. Okay, it looks nice. I think it looks nice. The lighting looks crazy, but I don't feel like readjusting this table. It's really, it's really the last like minute of Jolene Beverly that really, is it the last minute or the last two minutes? I think it's the last minute. She's a sick woman. Cause she's like, this is a cover. By the way, like, by the way, by the way, this already like really, really good song. I'm going to take it, you know, I'm going to flip it and I'm going to give you something. I'm going to give you an entirely new song. I'm going to put my own um, zhuzh on it so much. You're going to be like, this is a cover. Yes, that's what artistry, that's what artistry is. See, now I'm looking for my bronzer because I didn't put it down where I was supposed to put it down. And now I can't find her. Isn't that interesting? Did she fall? Oh, never mind. It's right there. I just couldn't see it. Anyways. Then, so she gives, break my, I really can't, but she gives me that, right? She's like, here's, here's Jolene, you know, we know. I put it on the track list, you knew it was coming. So I could at least prepare my, I could at least prepare myself for a cover of Jolene. Like get, knowing that this album was coming, I'm like, all right, the album is coming. Let me prepare myself to listen to Beyonce's version of Jolene. And she said, actually, the song is coming next. That's what you truly should have been able. I should have, she should have prepared me for daughter. She should have prepared me for that song. I actually don't think it's right to not prepare somebody to listen to daughter. I just want to take a moment of silence for who I was before listening to daughter. Because truly rest in peace to her. I'm a different person now. I'm a different person now. I was, sitting, I was listening to this album sitting on this couch right here. And this is one of the only songs that I was physically stuck, physically stuck on the couch for this song. Physically was just, was just, was just kind of sitting here, mount a gap, listening to the lyrics of the song. First of all, I didn't ask for that. I didn't ask, I didn't ask for that. I didn't ask to get my ass handed to me by a song, by beats, notes, and tell I didn't ask for that. I, besides the whole, like, I'm nothing like my father, but I'm exactly like my father whole thing that I don't literally, I don't need to get into that right now. The song is like a feature film and it's one of the shorter songs on the album. Like, I just, I, like, besides the I'm nothing like my father, like how like people say like the eldest daughter is your, actually your father's son, you did in fact get me there, that's unfortunate. If people wouldn't be stupid, I wouldn't need to act like my dad, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. that's not my fault. But the song is like, what, two minutes long? And she's telling like a folklore tale in such a torpid see that's why i'm like that is why i always say i you can taste and tell a lot in a short album in a short song in a short book get to the point that's how you tell the full story and that is what beyonce did that is what beyonce did and i've literally never been happier in my entire life this is one of the best songs in the album i've ever mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because you have to understand and then she starts singing in fucking italian an Italian singing a classic song in Italian. I don't know. I don't know. That's why this pure conversation is ridiculous. It is ridiculous because she's singing. So she made the song grandiose, beautiful, amazing. And then she starts singing in Italian. Classically trick. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what, who else you could be talking about. There is one Beyonce. There is one Beyonce. So, daughter. Now we have spaghetti. You know, Beyonce is a little strange. And that's not in a derogatory way because only somebody who's truly strange can make music like she does. She told me to come get everything I came for and I did. 
And I did. You know, we start off a little strange, a little funky, a little free-spirited. A little free-spirited. And then the song just switches into some angelic shit. We start going into the... I just... I. Let me take a moment to breathe. Because I'm listening to the song again in my head. And she really said, yeah, you know, I get foolish a little bit. But just in case you, like, forgot who I am or forgot what you came for, you came for every part, every part of Beyonce. And... Mm. I have never been more grateful. Okay. Put some powder. Now to put the rest. I enjoy spaghetti. I do. It's not one of my favorite songs in the album, I don't think. But also, spaghetti to me gives grower. Because I like songs like spaghetti. Like on other people's albums. I like the strange song. And I like it more than I did. And I like it more now than I did on release night. Um, but I really did like, cause I was like, ooh, it's just something you've never heard before. I've never heard before at the very least. Or I've never heard anything like it before. And those are the songs I personally have to go up for because I'm all, you need to be unique. You, she said it herself. She just said it herself. Unique. I don't want shit I can listen to from anybody. That's not, that's not why I'm here. I'm here to listen to Beyonce. I'm here to listen to Beyonce. I'm putting way more powder on than I anticipated, but I'm doing a lot of things today so the makeup has to actually last a long time. Next up, we have Alligator Tears. So this was a song on a track list that already drew me in because I, I'm, I'm obsessed with that name. Hello? I don't know, Alligator Tears sounds like it's gonna be an amazing song and I was literally correct. The song made me want a pickup truck for approximately 15 seconds. It's not gonna happen, but the song made me like be like, hmm, maybe pickup trucks aren't that like bad, you know? Maybe I could get a little Ford F-150, you know? But I think those are just so egregiously large for no reason. And I think you could kill a snake child with it. And I don't need that in my life, but I wanna sit in the back of one, you know? I think I did that once in Oklahoma. I don't think my parents knew about that, but I did, I think I did. And that was really fun. So I want to do it again. Or I can learn the guitar, which is not going to happen because I don't have the patience to learn how to play the guitar. So I'm like, I'm thinking just cowboy boots. That's the kind of my train of thought when listening to this song was I need to, I need to embody this song immediately. Like I need to adjust my wardrobe immediately. Like I, in fact, don't own enough leather. I don't own enough denim either. I don't own any suede. And I was like, these are maybe some things that could be fixed in the next couple of months while I prepare for said tour. This, this song makes me want to design an entirely new wardrobe. That's what the song. And so I got my nails done like yesterday. And you can see like, you know, you know, the color, I kind of, I kind of said, I thought alligator tears and I went and I found the design ah. that to me reflected that. The song made me want to pull out the sketchbook I have not touched in two years and get right back to it because why would I ever put that down? How does it feel to be adored? How does it feel? How does it, if I have to, uh, Beyonce, can you answer the question? Can you answer the question? I think you're the best person to answer the question. Like this song just made it one makes me feel like I need to like redesign a wardrobe like immediately. Like I need to just like that's what I need to actually like change career paths and just focus on like restoring the wardrobe that perfectly fits the song. But I also need to be cooking in a house with like the, I need like a sunroom. That's what those rooms are called. This song makes me need a sunroom and makes me want to drink like iced tea in the sunroom. It also makes me want to go on a boat, but I'm not really a boat person per se. Like not like, like not really. Mm -mm. I get really seasick, but kind of want to go on one. But I need a sunroom. What this song makes me like desperately need is a sunroom. Where is the powder brush? Okay, 
next smoke hour you know a little interlude little radio shit you know you know you know light work for Beyonce light work for Beyonce then we have just for fun this woman what she is able to do on these songs oopsie is some shit she truthfully needs to be like tried like she needs to like answer for what she's able to do with music that all of us have access to music we all in this world have access to music and what she is personally able to do with it is something i'm just like Ooh, how like can you tell me how how you are able to take the music that we all have access to, take all the instruments that we all have access to, take the notes. Like, you didn't create me, you didn't, like, but you're able to come out with this. Y'all know me and ballads. Y'all know me and ballads. I will never skip this song. I will never skip this song. I will always be in the mood for this song like just play this song and you in fact will heal and you don't even need me anymore you can heal yourself that's a joke everything about this song was in fact too good to be true as i was listening i was waiting for the ball i was waiting i was like it can't be. It can't be because you know that's what anxiety will still do to you. You'll be handed something dead in your face and it's excellent. And you're like, but but wait, but no, but wait. The song is excellent point blank. There's nothing we can do about it. Cause time heals everything. Mm-hmm. And I don't need anything. Hallelujah. Ha like that's a word. Like this is a gospel song. This is a gospel song. Like, first of all, what I'm really excited for, so the tour, um, excited for that. Don't know when that's happening. Hopefully next year, like hopefully next year, um, because I, I, there's a lot for me going on in the fall. Hopefully next year, an entire stadium singing this, I will break down in tears. I will, I will most certainly cry. There is no, there is no way that she's going to sing this song. There is no way that I, and I, I do not cry. I'm not a crier. That is not my thing. I don't enjoy perspiring from, I don't enjoy that. That really is an unpleasant experience to me. I will boo-hoo cry. I will boo-hoo cry when this song comes on. There's no question in my life. Because it's just, it's a, she said time feels like, it's such a healing come together experience. That's like, yes, like you feel like you're, this is how I feel listening to the song. Like, yeah, we're all our own individuals. I'm driving to work at like 545 in the morning, but we're all truly in this together. We're to Kenny Ortega. We're all truly in this together. And the only way we can get through this hellish society is by understanding that that it's not over because something bad happened. Like, you know, you know, this is why I'm saying Beyonce is a motivational speaker because she said, just do things just for fun. It doesn't have to be perfect every single time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Make it looks good. You can't really tell. I think it all looks good on like this camera. I think this camera make, makes makeup look good. Um, but I'll get closer. Well, you're going to see my texture, which is fine because makeup has, my skin has texture. I'm not a doll. But I physically, like, I don't think I'm going to be physically capable of, like, hearing that song in, like, a stadium setting. I don't think it's going to be, like, I don't think it's going to be feasible for me to be able to just, like, like live. <laughs> like, I, like I, I, I just don't think so. And then... And then she was like, you know what was going to, because I, I was not at this point, I was sitting on the couch, my phone was all the way over there and I was just like taking it all in. So I couldn't see the track list. I did not know what song was next, but you know whose voice I heard that caused me to leap up from this couch. I heard, I heard Miss Destiny Hope Cyrus. That is who I heard. And I devoured is not enough of a word to describe what Miley Cyrus and Beyonce done on this song. I don't have the vocabulary. I do not have the vocabulary to discuss how much this song 
affects me deeply in my soul. The guitar, the landslide interpolation, it's all too much. The harmonies are too, singing along to this song. This is a shower song. This is a shower song and this is a driving song. This song, because I was listening, so I was listening to this album while I had a break during my shift, I was sitting in the hospital lobby and I was listening to this song. It was taking everything in my power to not like belt out the song. And even, even if I was trying, I was trying to control myself, things still slipped. People were like, hmm. And I was like, oh, I am in fact singing out loud. Let me stop doing that. That's what, that's what the two of them were able to do on this, on the song. And the thing about this song, as I was listening to it, I was like, it just keeps getting better. The song was like a lethal one-two punch because you already have two of my, one of my some of my favorite artists on a song together. First punch. The song is incredible. There, but like Miley got a lot of singing time on this song, and the vo their voices work beautifully, beautifully together, and it's too good. This is my favorite song to sing along to. The harmonies, you know, I can pretend that I'm a little vocalist with them too, trying to harmonize, triple harmonize. It's just, it's just, I, I just, I just, I just would like to breathe. Like someday, like, like someday I would like to be able to just breathe. I would like to be able to just, you know, like exist and like live my life. And I don't think I am like allowed to do that. It seems that I'm not allowed to just breathe and exist and live my life. And that's fine as long as I can listen to this album over and over again. That's fine. I'm looking for my settings, right? Would anyone like to take a guess as to where my study spray is? Because I don't know where it is. I'm not still being in the room. I just want to get up. Like, I'm already here. Okay. Uh, it's definitely in my room. That's, you know, that's really unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. I'll use the one size then. The Charlotte Tilbury one, I think, is in my room. <sighs> terrible but it works next song levi's jeans i'm going to describe this uh, the way i like to describe this song to me is it feels like a casual beat do i think this song was easy to make no but the way this song is just beyond like saying like look how easy i can make this and it's so good and I'm not, I'm not saying the song was easy to make and I'm not saying that it sounds simple to make. I'm just saying it feels like a relaxed beat. It feels like, yeah, I can like not try and still the song is gonna be fucking incredible. Post Malone, you um, were invited to do a job. You accomplished that job. So congratulations on accomplishing the job you were given. That's, that's, what, I, that's, what, I, that's what I will give to Post Malone, absolutely. The song is good. The song... It's a little, it's a little, it's a casual, casual little sexy, casual song. I determine the song as a casual eat. That's how I'm going to describe it. It doesn't make sense, but it makes sense to me. That's what it feels like. That's what it feels like. And it looks warmer outside than it actually is because New York likes to play games like that. But I can't wait for the summer. I can't wait for the summer and this song specifically. I cannot wait for the summer and this song specifically. Then we have one of my favorites, Flamenco. This is the secret eat. Those are the people you know, but it's not a secret to the people who actually genuinely have taste. It's not a secret to us. It's not a secret to us because those that get it, get it. Flamenco, Flamenco is the one. Not the two, not the three. The actual one. The song is amazing. It adds that everyone who has taste for the spicier, more flavorful things in life, those are the ones of us who got this song on the first listen. I'm truthfully always asking like dancers to do stuff, but it's because I can't. Like I, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how to do the flamenco. Like, where y'all at? Where y'all at? 
and ballerinas. Honestly, I think you, I think y'all could do something to this song too. I just want to see people dance to all the songs on this album, and I don't have time or don't have the skill, depending on the type of dance. Okay, okay, please. And Beyonce, I mean this as respectfully as I I mean this as respectfully as possible. Where the hell is the rest of the song? I mean that with love and with grace. Where the hell is the rest of it? Thank you so much. I'd love to know. Any any to any whenever you have the time. I just I just think the rest of the song is is in fact needed and oh my god. This Pat McGrath powder baroque. When's the last time you've been serious? Oh my god, that's so annoying. I'm still gonna use it. Let me the Linda Martell show, you know, which was just 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 I didn't. I was like, oh, this is fun. I was sitting here like, oh, this is fun. What's going on now? Little did I know. Little did I know. You don't even know what's really coming to you until it actually comes, because then Yaya came. And Beyonce, let me be serious. I will be sending you an invoice because I could have gotten a epidural hematoma. I really could have um, because of how quickly I stood up when this first, when the song first started. And I think that's really dangerous. And I think you as a like influential person, person, person should be able to compensate me for almost nearly dying listening to this song because so I could have died I could have died and I don't think that that's like ethical and I think you as you know a celebrity of your stature should take ownership of your fan potentially dying to your song because it was actually you know what it was actually completely my fault because I wanted to praise dance yeehaw tap dance buck do a little mashed potato do a little charleston all at the same time so now that i think back that was a consequence of my own actions i feel, still think i am entitled to some financial compensation but that was a result of my own brain firing 10 ideas at once and my feet not being able to do the 10 ideas at once so um i'm still gonna try to do it again i still do try every time the song comes on why is this wet did this not dry properly please you're not about to mess up my whole face because you didn't dry it properly no where's the other one so i in fact will be trying to dance like that again and if it doesn't work and i end up in the hospital i mean worse things have happened i this song, though she made it physically impossible for I can't listen to this song and remain flaccid. Like I can't, even if I'm in an environment like where I'm walking through like the hospital, I'm working some walking somewhere that I'm not supposed to be like, you know, dancing in the middle bit. Have to walk on a beat, have to fight on a beat, have to tap on a beat. I you have to get up. This is gonna be, I think this is gonna be a really good workout song for me because I don't enjoy exercising and stuff that doesn't have a purpose. Like dance has a purpose, so I like doing it. But like the treadmill has no purpose, so I don't like doing it because I cannot sit down and listen to the song. The song might actually really work out for me as a really good workout song because I can't sit down and listen to the song. That's really interesting. That's really interesting. Like that's, that's a good point. I'm glad I brought that up because that's really interesting. So I think it'll be a really good song to exercise to because I'm doing my liner. Sorry. This is for the girls that listen to Beyonce because Beyonce is such a versatile artist. She is just so many things and does so many things well. This is for the girls who Beyonce's music was the way they could one, sim, and two, when Beyonce came on, it was time to fucking dance. It didn't matter what was on. These, this is for the girls who learned her choreography. <sighs> That's who y'all, oh my God, I got powder all over my white couch. This is for those, this, these are, that's, this is for those girls. This is for us. This, this, this is for us. This is for us who have never been able to sit still listening to Beyonce. 
This is for the countdown girls. This is for the B Day girls. This is for those of us who can't fucking sit still. I hear Yaya everywhere I go, um, which is a problem, which is a very serious problem that I have never been more grateful for because the song is incredible. The song is incredible. And then she led us into old Louisiana, you know, she said, we'll slow it down a little bit, give you time to recuperate, give you time to recover. And then Desert Eagle came in. I did the stankiest walk of my fucking life when that song was first playing. The song makes me want to do a stank walk and pole dance at the same time. You guys already know me and the bass. We go together like this. And then follow up, very similar to my um, plea to Beyonce when I was talking about flamenco, where is the rest? Because I know that that's not the whole thing that was on your hard drive. So where's the rest? And this time I'm, I'm gonna be a little bit more like with it because I think you also need to call, you probably already did call Victoria Monet and get her on that song. If you're, if we're gonna hold the rest in the vault, I should get an extended version with her. So I, I think you should pick which one you want to give to me. I, both would be great, but I'd really, really, really like at least one. At least one, at least one. This is a treat just as a treat please please and then we have river dance so this song who says that we can't all follow instructions it's so interesting how we can all follow instructions so clearly be like guarantee every single person followed beyonce's instructions she said dance and you got up and you danced didn't you didn't you? Isn't that exactly what happened when Beyonce said dance? You said, okay, how high? First of all, jazz dance class is about to go crazy with this song. About to go crazy with this song during warm up. During warm up, run, run, and bounce, bounce. They're about to go crazy to this song. So thank you, Beyonce, for giving us songs that weren't the songs that I listened to in my jazz class. Some of them I did not like at all. Beyonce showcased that we, as Americans, can in fact listen to instruct. It wasn't just Americans, listen to them. I understand I'm making a joke who can, that we can follow instructions and we can actually listen to, listen when we want to. That's so interesting to me. The song is really, really good. I, oh. It just scratches an itch. The song just scratches an itch right in there that I am so eternally grateful for. I have so much crap all over my hands. Well, anyway, so my makeup is done and looks warm, but good. So that was Ripper Dance. I really enjoy that song. And then we just go on a four, we just go on a run that you just can't make up. So two hands to heaven. I physically could not type anything listening to the song. I couldn't form a coherent sentence. I could not stop what I was doing, but I couldn't start doing anything else. I was unable to move. I had to remind myself about how to in fact expand my lungs and take a deep breath while listening to this song. She is a very sick woman. That is literally all I have to say about this song. That is all I have to say about Two Hands to Heaven is she is a... Because this was a choice. This was a conscious choice to... That song is what, five minutes long? That was a conscious choice to inject. I just, I, uh, I don't have the vocabulary. I know my limits. I don't have the vocabulary to describe how I feel when I listen to Two Hands to Heaven. I thought that the last minute, I thought it was fire crackling. It's definitely clapping, but it sounds like fire crackling to me. And that's my favorite part. Once that comes in, that's my favorite part. I don't have the vocabulary. I don't, so I'm gonna leave it. Where are the English majors? You guys have a vocabulary, I do not. Describe two and seven to me because it feels like an ethereal experience. And then we have Tyrant. The beginning, the middle, the end. Where do you want me to start? The beginning of the song is The whole album feels like an out-of-body experience, but those claps in the beginning of Tyrant are where really she's like, remove yourself from your physical form. 
<laughs> remove yourself because we're, we're, we're elevating to a higher place. That's exactly what this song feels like. And the fiddle. Ooh, ooh. See, there's so many instruments. Beyonce makes me want me to makes me want to learn new instruments, and I don't have time, and I don't have energy, and I don't have the patience. For it. So I'm like, can you stop? Because now I want to learn to play the fiddle, which is not feasible. So please leave me alone, Beyonce. Please, please, I'm begging you. Then we have Sweet Honey Bucking. It's three parts of this song and every part. So we start off, we're like, we're just getting ready. We're just, you know, warming up. It's like in Soul Cycle, like the cool down before the like final push. And we're, then, we, then we're marching in a major rat run file. We're shredding, we're moving, we're coming home. We're coming home and then we throw the fucking sand. And now it's time to get down. I... Cause she's eight. Mm. I love how she loves the number three. Um, she likes number four. But I like how she does things in three parts. I love that because I also love the number three and I like doing things in three parts. Three parts. This last chunk of this album was really was really for the girls that get down. This is really this is really for the girls who can't sit still. This is really for the girls who were put into dance class because they cannot sit still. I'm eternally grateful. And then she ends with amen. She said, actually, not really done yet. We're going to call back to all the way to the beginning and we're going to cry. We're going to sit down. We're going to think about what we've done. We better think about what we've accomplished and we're going to cry. You're going to think of this album from the moment you wake up until the moment you go to bed. She put me in a trance. You are going to wake up singing a song off this album. You're going to go to bed humming a song off this album. You're going to be cooking dinner and you're going to be singing this album and it's not on. You're singing it in your head. You are going to know the words in a week's time with little to no effort because that's how much you've been playing my album. And I say, yes, Beyonce, absolutely. Absolutely. So I did a Rick. I can't even, because there is literally one, two, three. There are six songs tied for number four. So I'll give you my top. Because I'm looking at this physically and I'm like, this is out of order. Like some of it's out of order. Some of it's out of order completely. Okay. So my top one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can give no, no. This is incorrect. Well, it's okay. I can't. I I don't know. I don't know. So, cause it's no. Cause some of these are tied. There's like six songs tied for number four. Cause like American Requiem right now is at number twelve. It's not really number twelve, but it's like. Anyways, this is my preliminary. I'm going to give you my top 10. Can I actually rank this album? I can't. Okay, we're going to we're going to say what because I did the little quiz and this is what it is. I'm going to say what it is. This might change as I say them out loud. So I'll start from the bottom. There's no bad song on this album. Smoke Hour with uh, Smoke Hour 1, O oh, Louisiana, The Interludes, The Linda Martell Show, Smoke Hour, Dolly P. I do have Protector down. I'm sorry, at number 21. Well, it's not really because these are all tied anyway, because they're all tied, because I literally could not pick. I kept being like, I like both of them. I like both of them. I like both of them. And then it was like, all right, you can't click that for everything, but it let me click it for everything. That's why it looks like this. So then I have Protector. I have 16 Carriages. I have Texas Hold'em. Then I have Spaghetti, Blackbird, Jolene. See, this is where things are started getting weird, because Riverdance is here, and then Daughter is here, which doesn't make sense. And then Amen, and then My Rose, and then American Requiem, and then Le Levi's Jeans, then Just for Fun, then Sweet Honey Bucking, then Tyrant, then Hit Two Hands to Heaven, Desert Eagle, Flamenco, Two Most Wanted, Ya Ya, Alligator Tears, and Bodyguard. 
I think the top 10 is completely correct. I feel like I my my rows should be in that, but there's physically no room. There's literally no room. And I feel like Daughter should also be in that, the way that I love that song so much, but there's, I don't know what song I would take out and replace. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think we should be allowed to rank this album for two months. I don't think so, because that just gave me a lot of, lot of panic because I'm just like, well, what about this? What about this? Let's go off Gush Instinct. My top, let's do top five. Yeah, yeah. Bodyguard. Flamenco. Mm-hmm. Here we go. This is where, oh, uh. See, this is where things get really dicey because I still have Two Hands to Heaven, Two Most Wanted, and Sweet Honey Bucking. I'm not answering this question. I'm not answering this question. I gave you my top 10. My top 10 in no order, because this is incorrect. Bodyguard, Alligator Tears, Ya Ya, Most Wanted, Flamenco, Desert Eagle, Hand, Two Ends to Heaven, Tyrant, Sweet Honey Bucking, and Just for Fun. That is my top 10. Order to be decided at a point where I'm in the, I can do that, because I physically cannot. I physically cannot, unfortunately. So, those are my thoughts on Cowboy Carter. Um, let me know what your top five is, if you can do that. I feel like I should give you my top five. I'm asking for your top five. So Amanda, make decisions. Okay. Flamenco. Yaya. Yeah. Two most wanted. Two hands to heaven. Ooh. This last one changes every day. Did I already say Sweet Honey Bucking? Or Tyrant? Or Desert Eagle? Desert Eagle is too short. Desert Eagle, see Beyonce, what you look what you've made me do. Desert Eagle is too short, so it got booted from a top five. I think that's it. I think that's it. Let's go with that. So let me know your top five. Let me know what you thought about the album. I am not answering the question if I think it's better than Renaissance. I have had Renaissance for what, two years now? I've had this album for a week and a half. I'm not answering that question. And I don't think you guys can answer that question either. But I, I will leave everybody alone. Have fun whichever way you want to have fun. This album's been out for literally... If this album was a newborn, it hasn't even been to the pediatrician yet to go get its first well baby check. Like, come on. Um, but yes, let me know what you guys think. I adore this album. My vinyl is on the way. I've been hearing the things about the about the physical copies. So so what am I what I'm hearing is that I need the CD too, because the, the songs sound different on each medium. Is that is am I hearing that correctly or is that a lie? Because that's crazy if so. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you'd like to follow me on social media, here are my, here are my handles. And yes, I hope you guys stay happy and safe um, in this world that we live in. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.